Good evening, everyone. And to God be all the glory. Thank you, Lord. Today, y'all, we're going to be coming out of the book of um, Isaiah 6 and 1. And, and then we're going to go into Psalms 118 and 8. Lord, I, I just thank God. Lord, we thank you. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you for being so good to us. Lord, please forgive us, Lord, of all of our sins. And Lord, thank you, God, for blessing the people of God. Lord, thank you, Lord, for how you've kept us, Lord God. In our right minds, Lord, kept us from dangers, Lord. Things we don't even know about. Things he, he protected us from. Lord, thank you so much. Lord, thank you, God, for helping us to be content, Lord, in what we have. Lord, Y'all, we got so much to be thankful for. Lord, thank you, Lord. Lord, help us, Lord, not to uh, worry. Lord, I pray, God, that we don't worry. But, Lord, that we cast all our cares on you, God, because God cares for us. Lord, You, I know you care about us, Lord. Thank you so much. He said, cast, your, cast all your cares upon me because I care for you. God love us. He don't want us worrying. Lord, thank you so much, God. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to be content. Yes, Lord. Being content, Lord. Being content in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you, God, for being the keepers of our souls. Yes, Lord. He, he's our keeper, Lord. Lord, have mercy. God is our keeper. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you, God. Lord, I ask you to bless. Bless the people, God. Lord, with wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And Lord... Thank you that we're in our right minds, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The things that people take lightly, take for granted. Lord, have mercy. Y'all, we got so much to be thankful for. So much to be grateful for. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. We bind every, every negative thought. Lord, help us to think on the good things. Y'all, he want us to think on good things. Go to Philippians. I, I it, it just came to me Philippians uh Philippians 4 I believe it's Philippians 4 and 7 He tell us he tell us what to think on We can't just think on what we want on what we want to think on He tell us what to think on Philippians 4 and 8 It says finally my brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, he said, think on these things. So we got to change the way we think. Them negative thoughts that come to your mind, them negative thoughts that say you're going to get put out, them negative thoughts that say you're going to die. You shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you, God. Thank you for blessing your people, God, to change, to have a change of mind in the name of Jesus. Lord, that they will cast down those evil imaginations and those high things that it exalts themselves above the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy. Change the way you think. I, when I say it to you, I'm saying it to myself because those evil thoughts that come to your mind, those th thoughts of destruction, those uh, th those uh, voices that come to your mind and say, kill yourself, uh, um, those thoughts that come to your mind and, and, and tell you to cuss them out, them thoughts that come to your mind and, and say, um, they ain't going to hire me or I ain't going to get the house. I'm not. No. We got to say, we got to say what the word of God says. We got to we got to believe that when we pray that God is going to answer us. Yes, yes, yes. We got to change the way we think. We got to cast down those evil imaginations. We got to think positive in the name of Jesus. Mm. God don't want us uh, allowing the enemy just to come and dance around in our heads and, and then we don't fight back. But see, the only way we can win these battles is we and fight the enemy back. We got to know what the word of God says. 
We got to know what he says concerning our situations. Your situation might not be my situation. You might not need a healing. You might not need, uh, uh, um, you might not want a, a baby. I might want a baby. You might not want a baby. Our, our situations are different. God is in the healing business. He's in the delivering business. He ain't never stopped. That's why he sent Jesus into this world to die for our sins. Lord have mercy. Jesus, he sitting on the right hand of the Father right now, y'all, making intercession for us, meaning he is praying on our behalf. He's praying on your behalf. Lord have mercy, Lord. God, I ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, to to to. Uh, um, give me the wisdom and the knowledge, Lord, to, to share your word on this evening. And God, that as I share your word, Father, I pray, God, that it be that it be clear that 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 understanding will come forth. Lord, that our hearts will be open, God, to receive your word, God. And then and when we get it, Lord, help us to apply it to our lives and help us to live by it. And Lord, let our motives be pure before you, God, in the name of Jesus. Because y'all, you know what? We could be saying one thing out of our mouths and know that we don't mean it. Knowing that our motives, sometimes our motives are not pure. I've been there. You know, you say things because it just sounds like it's the right thing to say. But you really didn't mean it. But guess what? We ain't fooling nobody. I can't fool nobody because God, he sees everything. Now, that ain't what I got up here for. But um, I will say this. In the book of, let's see. Psalms 118 and 8, and it says, to put your confidence, it is, it, let me see, let me see, I got it, I got it, because I, okay, I got it. It said, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put your confidence in man. That's, oh, Lord Jesus. That's, um, that's, Lord Jesus. That's, um, thank you, Jesus. That's, um, Thank you, Lord. Excuse me, y'all. That's Psalms 118 and 8. So sometimes we, we put our trust in man more than we do God. See, man will put us down because we they're human. And so sometimes, you know, like some leaders, they have our best interests at heart. They love us. And some leaders want to help everybody. But they're only flesh. They're only human. So God, he, tell, he told us, Psalms 118, he said, it is better to put your trust in, in the Lord than to put your confidence in man. He don't want us trusting man. He said, trust no man. Well, put your confidence in the Lord, the God that says that he will not lie. Numbers, Numbers 23 and 19 says, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he not said and shall he not do it? Or have he spoke and shall he not make it good? When God say he going to do something, he going to do it. God is not short of his word, y'all. When his word goes out, it don't come back void. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. Thank you, Jesus. So, Stop trusting man and go to God. We have free access to go to God for ourselves. Yes, we do. Now, I want to read Isaiah. Isaiah um, 6, verse 1. And it says, In the year that King Uzziah died, he said, I saw the Lord high on the throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. See, Isaiah was looking, he was looking to uh, his cousin. It was his cousin. He said King Isaiah was his cousin. So he was looking to man, but he didn't see um, the Lord until his, the king died. When the king died, that's when he saw the Lord. So, so who is on the throne of your heart? Sometimes we got man. We, wanna, we, we want man to, we want to satisfy man more than we do God. We want to please him, but um, we should be wanting to please the Lord. We should want God to get the glory out of our lives, that, that men may see our good works and glorify our, our God that's in heaven. Lord, have mercy.
Thank you, Lord. Cause sometimes we we just don't we, we just don't we don't know. But then when we find out, you know, Lord, please for you we can we, we need to repent and ask the Lord to forgive us for looking to man instead of instead of the Lord Himself. Yes, we need the leaders. Lord have mercy. We need leaders. I'm I'm not discounting them in no kind of way. I thank God for the leader um, over my life that taught me very well. But we are not to put our confidence in them because they will let us down. And then when we get down, you know, and we don't expect certain things from leaders because we don't put them up here and we put God down here. No, that, that shouldn't be. It should be God up here who we, we, who we look to, the author and the finisher of our faith. He got to say so of where we're going to spend eternity. Not our leader. Now, our leaders, they're going to lead and guide us. A true leader going to lead and guide you in the way that you should go, which is on the straight and narrow path. But you do have some leaders are not teaching people and telling people the truth. So that's why we need to totally put our trust in, in, in God and go to him. Instead of uh, when something uh, happens in our life, we run straight to our prayer partner or we go straight to our leader and, and we just bypass God. The same God that they go to on our, be, on our behalf. But see, sometimes we don't know it. Sometimes we don't, we, we, we don't know it. So now that you know it, you know that you got free access to go boldly to the throne of God and make your request be made known unto him. So, so don't put your trust in man. Put your trust in God because, y'all, he love us. And, y'all, we could go to him and we can go and tell him all about whatever it is that's going on. We can go to God. We can go to God. And that I, I, I'm just so glad. I'm just so glad about that, being able to go to the Lord uh, and not have to go to, to man. Now, I ain't saying we don't need people to talk to, because we do. Thank God for leaders, and we should keep them lifted up in prayer. That should be one of the first things we do uh, 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 in our prayers. We, we need to lift up the leaders all over the world, because they get hit at first. They on the front line, so since they on the front line, the enemy, they targets. They get in the front, but because of prayer, but because of prayer, we are praying for them and lifting them up. Because if they get hit, we're going to get hit. And if they go down, some of us are going down because we're looking at the leader. Instead of looking to God, he, he done told us in his word to put no confidence in man, but put your confidence in the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you, God. We thank you so much, God. Thank you, Lord, for helping us, Lord, and loving on us, Lord. Thank you, God, for keeping us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, God, for helping us, Lord, to share your word, God, in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, I just ask you, God, to bless your people, God, to, to continue, Lord, to uh, uh, um, give them dreams and visions, Lord, making yourself known to them in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we don't depend on ourselves, God, but that we cast all our cares on you, God, knowing that you are the author and finisher of our faith, God. And without you, Lord, we are nothing. In, in, in uh, St. John 15 and 5, it says that he is the divine and we are the branches. And he that abideth in him the same, bringing forth much fruit. Because without him, y'all, we are nothing. So we have to stay connected to the vine, which is the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. We have to stay connected to him. We have to stay connected to him. Because if a branch fall off, it, it cannot be nourished because it has been taken away from the vine. And the vine gives the nourishment. The vine is the reason for the growth, for the greenness of the, of the leaves and, and all of that. So if we get cut off from the vine, we in trouble. So we got we to gotta stay connected. We got to stay connected to God. Because he's all, y'all, he all we got. He is all we got. And to, for someone to walk off and leave God, knowing the time that we're living in today, it's like committing spiritual suicide. It's like committing suicide. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy on our souls. Lord, help us, God. Lord, help us, Lord. We need your help. For God, we recognize, Lord, that without you, Lord, we can't do nothing. Lord, without you, Lord, we are nothing. Without the Spirit of God, y'all, we are dead. We are dead. We are the walking dead without the Spirit of God living on the inside of us. God is preparing his people for his soon coming. For those that want Jesus Christ. He's preparing the people. Come on and get on in this boat uh, before it's too late. Before the door is shut and you, and you can't repent. Right, right now is the time. I ain't trying to force God on nobody. He ain't even going to force himself. I'm just here to deliver a message to let you know that Jesus Christ loves you and he don't want nobody to perish. That's how much he loves you. God want to give his people peace. And you know what? You can't have peace just because you got a bunch of money. You got everything, you know, everything looking pretty good. That's not peace. I'm talking about true peace. When you got Jesus Christ and you ain't got a, you might have a couple of dollars, you ain't got a whole lot. You might not have nothing. But if you got Jesus Christ, he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you to the end. If you got Jesus Christ, you're going to have some peace. God give you peace. Your money ain't going to bring you peace. You might have a little, you might just got it. And, 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 and you got a little money. And to God be the glory. But the peace of God, the peace of God, the peace of all understanding, ain't nothing like having some peace. Ain't nothing like being having a, just just being able to go to sleep and and just and, and relax and not having to worry about stuff. You know, casting all your cares. God don't want us to be worrying about stuff. God will take care of us, y'all. He'll make sure we got what we need. And you know what? That word need, it don't even have an S on the end. So God will take care of that need. It, it might be that today you might need grocery. God going to take care of it. He going to make sure that you have what you need. He going to make sure that you have what you need. You need a healing. God going to make sure you are healed. It's not, not not what we want, but what God wants. It is God's will to heal his people. Yes, it is. When he walked on the earth, it said he went about healing all. Lord, have mercy. God is so good, y'all. He love us so, he love us so much. He love us so much. And so when you get your healing, when you get whatever it is that you're asking the Lord to do for you, don't forget about him. Don't slack up. Don't um don't stop serving him. That's the time to go full force for him. Go all the way. Come all the way in. Don't stop. Don't don't let just a little bit of these worldly things make you uh slow slow down serving God. Cause see y'all, we don't know when he's coming, and we want to be in right standing when he when he come back. And, 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 you know, we're hearing a lot of people say Jesus is coming. But do we really believe that he's coming? Do we really believe? And when I say do you really believe, how we act and how we live says that we really, really believe he's coming. What we are doing uh, spiritual, spiritually, what we are doing says we believe are we are we witnessing are we uh are we praying are we are we are we saying no to the devil are we resisting him yeah to god be the glory well if it be the lord's will i see y'all in the next video